What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode two of the all new style lessons. I'm joined, as always, at, you know, just like the one other time we've done this, uh, <laughs> by Jonathan Evans, the senior style editor at Esquire.com, and Christine Flamia, the associate style editor at Esquire.com. I'm Ben Boscovich, the social media editor at Esquire.com, and today we're talking about short season. Yes, we are. Because it is upon us. Not quite right now. I hope you're not wearing shorts outside today when we're shooting this because it's like in the 50s and not a good time to wear shorts. Unless you're in Florida. Oh yeah. Or, or if you're, California. If you're us, Florida. There's probably several places <laughs> that are viewing this right now that they can wear shorts. So I apologize for being an uh, Atlantic elite. Is that Ooh, what they call it? Coastal elite. Coastal elite. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Um, but, you know, shorts are something that I think that guys think about a lot. Um, in terms yeah. of length, in terms of what colors are appropriate, in terms of if they should have cargo shorts or not, um, and something else, you know, shorts to the office. If you have a if you have a job that allows you to wear shorts to work, what is appropriate? Um, so I think we should start by talking about length because I think that's the most uh, talked about subject in terms of shorts. How short is too short? How long is too long? I know it probably depends on a person's body type, but what sorts of things are we looking for here, guys? I think you generally want to shoot for it to hit about mid-calf. Okay. Like, <laughs> kind of Jenko whip. That makes sense. <laughs> exactly what I thought you would say. Yeah, um, it's really flattering on all body types. Yeah. Unsurprising, <laughs> there. <laughs> Real talk though, I think what you want to think about with shorts is there are three magic numbers, um, and that's seven, nine, and 11. And those are kind of the, go to inseam lengths, which is to say the length of the shorts leg from the like crotch seam down to where the fabric actually ends. And really the way to think about that is it's gonna hit about mid thigh, like lower mid thigh, and then right above the knee, and then right at the knee. Okay. Generally, I mean, of course it depends on how tall you are, Right. but that's really what you're looking at. When it gets into swimmer, you can get all the way up to like a five inch inseam. Sure. That's for a bold and generally probably toned dude. Um, we'll get there. There's gonna be an episode we'll about this. Stay tuned. But we'll yeah, wait till it gets uh, hot for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, seven, nine, and 11. And I, you're generally, I think, gonna be pretty safe playing with any of those numbers, but you do wanna be careful with both seven and 11, depending on your height. Which right. is to say, if you're really tall and you're in a seven inch inseam, especially if you're in that kind of situation where you're going to work and mm -hmm. you've got this like magical shorts abiding office, don't abuse that situation by like showing that much leg. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you're on the shorter side and you're wearing 11 and it's falling below the knee, one, you're gonna cut yourself off visually and make yourself look even shorter, so if that's a problem for you. You're gonna look somebody... a from 1999. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, Sorry, but. I that. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if, if like you might not care at all that you look shorter or taller than you are, but if you do, that's something to keep in mind. Um, and just generally, a short that falls below the knee is not gonna look very good. It's gonna look a little sloppier. It's gonna look a little too big on you. So a long short can make you look short. Mm -hmm. Can a short short make you look taller? If, well, if you're short, you should go for a shorter short. Because if you're short and you go for a longer one, it's going to swallow you up. Okay. But it will make you, like, the shorter you go, like, if you're, a, like, say, like, five seven five eight, and you're wearing a seven inch inseam, that's going to make you look taller. Because it's going to look like it's hitting you in the right spot. Mm -hmm. It's not going to, like, bring you down to the ground. Mm -hmm. What about uh, slimming? Like, some, should you stay away from something that has a silhouette that's kind of moving outward? Are we looking very, sh like... Uh, parallel lines there, or you know, even whatever this is. <laughs> well, whatever that is, don't wear it. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like a slim, a slim leg parachute is always the, is always the way to go. If it looks like a parachute, do not put it on your body. Um, I think when it goes, it kind of has like a wider, like pant leg. That's not really a great look. Kind of gives you like a like golf dad little bit of a vibe there, unless you're going for that, in which case, by all means. Um, but I think like a slim, you know, I have a few inches, but nothing like too crazy. Um, and nothing that's like sucking in your thighs either. Um, we're not at Coachella then, so. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the, the one kind of thing you want to think about with shorts is as slim as you're going in your jeans or your chinos or even sometimes your trousers in the thigh, you don't want to go that slim on shorts. It's not going to look good. Um, 
It's also you not going to be have. very comfortable. No, I mean, I mean, it's I, if it's fine on pants, you're probably going to be all right. But like, you get that little like you don't want that moment at like at the lower part of the like the ham where it kind of like really sucks in on your leg. Right, circulation One, is a thing. You, circulation is important. <laughs> Uh, and also, it just it just doesn't look right. Like right. we talk about proportionality all the time when it comes to balancing elements of fit, and it throws you off. It's just like that kind of you know you, the dudes you see who got a pair of skinny jeans that they clearly cut off, and like that look can be very very tough unless you are real thin. Yeah, so, and not a lot of fabrics lend themselves to that sort of thing too. Like yeah, it's true. A lot of denim can stretch to the point where if you if you're wearing skinny jeans, it stretches enough that it works out when you get down to the ankle. But I think shorts are generally a lot of people are buying the same sort of material shorts yeah. and those, that material, whatever it is. What it's is usually it? just a cotton twill. Cotton twill. That's yeah. not good for constricting. Yeah. A tapered look isn't really. Yeah. What we're going for you don't here. want a tapered short, right? <laughs> that, I mean, like much like kind of wide leg pants are a little bit the fashion forward move right now. Mm -hmm. If there are a few pairs of shorts I've seen out there that are like almost like high fashion basketball shorts. Yeah, that's fair. That look kind of rad. So it's all about whether or not you want to like step into that fashion place and do that with your kind of warm weather be shorted look. If you do, go for it. But if you're feeling at all like, like with most things, if you're feeling at all like this might not work for me, it probably won't. <laughs> uh, in terms of buying shorts, I think something personally that I grapple with when I'm buying shorts is buying them online. Mm -hmm. I feel like my recommendation would be don't buy a pair of shorts online that you don't have another version of them already to know how they fit. Because mm -hmm. just because the number 7911 is the same, the, the cut might be different in other places and you're not sure what you're getting. Yeah, it might have a longer rise. It might just be different cut throughout the like seat and hips so that yeah. you throw it off. Try I on mean, shorts if you can. Is yeah, what if I you said. can, you totally. About that? Like, I, I think it's one of those, it, it depends on if you're an online shopper type. If you like online shopping, then you're gonna be hopefully at this point, okay with the prospect of buying something and being like forced to return it because it doesn't work for you. Mm -hmm. Um, if you're cool with that, go for it. But if you're the type of person, like a lot of dudes I know, who tend to buy something, decide they don't like it, and then let it sit in their closet for the next three years and then give it away to Goodwill, that is not the move for you because shorts are gonna be harder. <laughs> I think the good thing too is like a cotton twill like we were talking about, um, a lot of brands will have them in a thousand different colors. So once you find a fit you like, it'll be, you know, the next season you can grab a few more in a bolder color if that's something that you're into. That's a, a nice transition to my next question for you guys. Uh, is there a way, there's obviously, like you said, a ton of different color shorts you can buy in the same cut. Is there a way to make the brighter colored ones work in a, in a respectable way that doesn't make you look like a frat guy that has like you know the lobsters <laughs> on his on his belt and the um, issues. The issues. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't wear lobsters on your belt is a great start. <laughs> um, I love. I think a bold shirt. I mean, it's summer. Like you want to be bright. I think that's a good way to be able to do it. Especially like if we're not talking printed, just like a, a bright color. I think is awesome. I always like would suggest for someone who's like not sure how to do it, like a navy t-shirt and just like. I don't know, a cool pair of sneakers or what we're talking about, S drills or anything like that, I think is like a simple, like beach ready kind of look. Um, I think a bold shirt is a, is a cool a cool choice for warm weather. And as it goes with other bold choices in, in clothing, keep everything else like kind of simple so totally. that. I mean, it's yeah. one of those things, it's like if you're wearing a brightly colored or intensely patterned pair of shorts, Probably a white t-shirt, white Oxford cloth button down with the sleeves rolled up, like maybe a camp collar shirt if you're feeling like a little cool, a little retro. Like just don't key up the volume the same way that you did on the shorts with whatever top, with whatever like shoes, accessories, etc. that you're wearing, because it's gonna be the overall effect will be way too fucking much. So <laughs> if they fit and you keep it simple everywhere else, go for the bold colors, summer's the time to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Esquire approved. Yes. Um, so what about those pockets on the side of shorts that we see so much uh, off, you know, I think that they're called cargo pockets. Uh, how do we feel about cargo shorts? 
Uh, I saw you rubbing your hands together, oh, so I, I, think it's, I think it's your turn to answer um, this one. Well, the, kind of like you were saying with the basketball shorts, there are, are a lot of like high fashion cargo shorts out there, which I am still like of the mind, like I will never recommend a cargo short to someone who is asking for help. Um, but if that's something, if you're like trying for, if you're going for it and you're doing that like high fashion route, I mean, you do you, but that's like, no. If you're like, if you're the guy wearing those rubber flip flops and cargo pants, get rid of both of them. So cargo shorts are now an advanced style move. They used to just, you know, I think in the past you see someone with cargo shorts, you're like, oh, they're not wearing. I think that's kind of like what's happening right now, right? People are taking things that used to be like, like only nerds wore those. Mm -hmm. and my geography teacher in high school, and now like white, so like white sweat socks. Cargo shorts, basketball shorts. Ikea bags. Ikea bags. There you go. Hot for summer. Yeah, they're all hot for summer, but <laughs> you, have no, you, have no, you have to know how to do it right. Probably. Tell us in the comments what you're making out of Ikea bags. What sort of sweet men's wear have you come <laughs> up with? Because I've seen some shit, man. Yeah. yeah. I think I saw a thong yesterday. You oh, did I saw see the a thong. thong. Yeah. yeah. That looks like it would cause severe chafing. Yeah. Do not. Don't wear. do that. Not recommended. Don't those. wear plastic. Do. I mean. <laughs> Just or keep everything else super simple. Exactly. <laughs> just uh, got the one bold thong. Make sure your leather needs. harness is just a simple black. Oh my god. Jonathan, um, do you have any additional thoughts on cargo shorts? I think it's the same sort of idea. It's, um, we've seen a lot of this kind of like subversion of things that used to be considered just downright uncool. Taking them around the bend to make them cool again, classing them up to make them cool. It's like, but a lot of designers love to kind of appropriate these those things that we used to hate, you know, five, 10, 20 years ago, and tweak them so that they feel different and cool. But what comes with that is all the baggage and associations that they had back in the day. So if you're cool with it and you've kind of like come to a point in your personal style evolution where you're like, I want to play around with those ideas, great. But most of us haven't and like most people who are wondering whether they should get into something are the people who should absolutely not be getting into it. Um, Makes sense. Plus, like, I don't know, cargo shorts are so freaking tough, man. Like, pants, every once in a while I see them, I'm like, that is a genuinely awesome pair of cargo pants. I have yet to be walking down the street, like, clock a dude and just be like, that is a man wearing some rad cargo shorts. <laughs> and I don't know when that or if that yeah. will ever He's happen. gonna let me know when he does see it, and then I'll let you guys know. I'm gonna send like an emphatic text message. <laughs> yeah, we'll, put a we'll have a breaking news uh, live video whenever this happens. I, yeah. I think the last thing I'm gonna say about cargo shorts is that uh, an older gentleman once told me he likes cargo shorts because it's a great place to keep his weed. So uh, if that's the <laughs> no. case, then keep it chill and we're not gonna hate you for it. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, the last thing I think we could talk about in terms of shorts is if you have a job that allows you to wear shorts to work, um, what sort of shorts should our guys be shopping for out there if, if that's the case that, or the situation that they're in? So, one, I think you want to kind of hit the same notes you'd hit with a pair of trousers that you'd wear to work. Like, trousers or chinos, like, obviously jorts are completely out of the freaking question. But, you know, if, if you're in this kind of like magical unicorn of a workplace where you're allowed to wear shorts to it, like, think about the kind of classic gray flannel trouser and find something that reinterprets that in a short. Like, oh, okay. Think about the way that Tom Brown does a short suit, which is to say like he'll take his kind of classic, classic for Tom suit, which is a little bit cropped, a little bit slimmer, and just just chop off the pant. Like that's all he's doing. Mm -hmm. So it's that kind of vibe. Like it's the, the, the most polished version that you can find. And I think with his trousers and his shorts, that, that uh, aggressive cuff really mm -hmm. adds like a, a cool element. Yeah, it gives yeah. some very, very like, you know, mid-century modern, like, Atman vibes yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Um, and I will say golf shorts do not count as dress shorts. Not the same thing. What is a golf short? Like, what, is, what makes it a golf short? Um, well, I would say it's usually the, the fabric of it, wood. It's more of like an athletic. Oh, it's like waterproof a little bit. Right, yeah. If you bought it in like a golf shop, Keep it on the course. <laughs> Keep it on the course. That's that's good advice. Uh, Jonathan, you mentioned jorts. Oh, I did mention jorts. <laughs> Don't wear jorts. I mean, um, is there is there a scenario? Is there a pair of jorts out there that you see in that like are cool? I've or? seen chambray shorts mischaracterized as jorts. Okay, and that's not fair. <laughs> that's an they important didn't thing. Do that. Um, <laughs> but I can't think of a jort off the top of my head that I would recommend, which. 
probably said something. You know, I mean, same kind of thing with Tate. I I would never recommend a jort, but I mean, I've I've been to Brooklyn. There are a lot of jorts there, and I don't hate all of them. Um, I like I said, I wouldn't go out of my way to tell someone they should wear them. Um, but I mean, when you're outside. It's the summer. Going to a music festival. Definitely not in the work situation. No, yeah, exactly. No. Like no. jeans at work, probably cool every day of the week nowadays. Otherwise, or from our, uh, yeah. our job, I guess. <laughs> well, you're a lot of merchant people. banker. Yeah, sorry, accountants. <laughs> Put the tie back on. There's yeah. one accountant with a really great pair of jeans on right now, being like, "Go to hell." <laughs> <laughs> if you're out there, share this with your friends. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think we covered the gamut here with uh, talking about shorts. Yeah. Uh, so happy summer, everybody! Happy shorts shopping, and. Uh, it, Godspeed and good luck. Yeah, Godspeed and good luck. <laughs> Bear caps forever. <laughs>